Welcome back, Plain Air Painters, my favorite people, the bold and the brave. That's you. Face it. The other day I was painting at Carmel River Lagoon with my friend Murray Wagnon and several other people from the Monterey Bay Plain Air Painters Association. The Carmel River Lagoon is where the Carmel River flows into the ocean once it gets past the dune of the beach. It's sort of an unusual sort of place, very beautiful, wide expanse of sand, wetlands nearby, and the ocean not too far away with a view of Point Lobo. So we all went down there. And Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to the beautiful Monterey Peninsula. You'll find Monterey, Pacific Grove, Pebble Beach, Carmel. There's the Carmel River, which flows to the bay and the lagoon. Let's take a closer look and see where our intrepid plain air painters are painting. Come on now, let's look a little closer. And there he is. Look at him working, spending his whole day in the sun, painting and painting away. This is what plain out painters love. I had just come from the eye doctors and my eyes had been dilated. And so, standing here on the beach, the scene really looked like this to me without dark glasses and without squinting. It was a bleached beach. So I squinted the rest of the day. Squinting brought the view back to normal. I found my location and set up my easel. Placed my canvas, my palette with the brush holder. Set my box of paints on the easel to hold it in place. Put my apron on and my hat on. Put my trash bag into the hole held down with the cottage cheese container lid. You can also use a yogurt container lid. I set my brush washer on the palette and put my gloves on. Keep my hands safe from during the process. The painting cups go on the end of the palette. And I put my three-part mixture into the cups. Fold a paper towel to sit under the brush washer so that the mineral spirits don't spill out onto the ground. I was looking for a subject and finally I found one. And guess what? It was Murray Wagner. As is always the case, Murray was already well into his painting. But I saw the composition, it was very clear to me. I applied the rule of thirds to it, and there was Murray sitting in exactly the right place. So I said, This is it for me. Here I am set up on Carmel River State Beach. There are other artists around in the background. Way in the background is Carmel. To the left is the ocean, to the right is the lagoon. It's a long stretch of sand, very beautiful, very sunny. I've set up here and I'm going to paint Murray, who is also painting. And now begins the best part of painting, this long stretch of time before us. Uh, we just concentrate on what is in front of us, the canvas and the scene. Here I've begun washing in colors. An overall wash of yellow ochre, some burnt sienna, even a little bit of red in the foreground, put on thinly with the painting medium. And now I'm taking a paper towel and wiping it down so it's not quite so wet. At the top of the canvas I've washed in a little bit of bluish gray to act as a background to the sky. It's really become my practice to always draw in the thirds line. So I draw in two vertical lines and two horizontal lines 
to find where the thirds are. Now I know that Murray's going to go right in the right hand third. So that's where I'm placing him. I guess I just got so absorbed in the details of the painting that I didn't notice that Murray had walked away from his canvas and was evidently heading back to the parking lot to take a break. I looked up from my canvas, and what did I see? No Murray. Well, that was okay for a while, but then things started getting interesting. Hmm. I didn't notice that the umbrella had blown over. But another artist did, and she ran up, putting it back together, which was not exactly the right thing to do. Actually, it would have been better to leave the umbrella down. But she wanted to give the wind another chance. Well, the wind, of course, starts picking up and things get worse and worse. And it finally reaches a point where there's nothing to be done but blow the easel over. There's Murray in the background. He sees it. I finally notice it and come running over. That old boy can, what can I salvage here? It looks like the painting is not face down in sand, but it's got medium poured all over at one corner of the canvas is covered in sand. It's not a total disaster. At least the painting was not face down. It did have a lot of sand on it. So we discussed mm, possibilities here. Murray doesn't complain. He's an old pro. This has happened to him before. It happens to all of us. You may have seen one of my previous videos called A Canvas is a Sail. Don't miss it. It's one of Lewis's Laws of Plain Air Painting. This is a new one that goes, Never leave your easel unattended with your umbrella up. The question in my mind concerning Murray's painting was whether he would try to salvage it or not. It didn't look like it was a good idea to try to salvage it that day. Perhaps better to clean it up a little 
put it away for a day or two, brush the sand off, and come back and give it another try. That's exactly what Murray ended up doing. A few days later, he went back to the beach in the morning, set up again, and finished the painting. While he was painting what was in front of him, I was painting him. And here's something you should understand about the wind. It is not your friend. In case you haven't seen my other video called canvas is a sale you ought to watch that one first i think i should probably make another one called an umbrella is a parachute or something like that anyway whatever you do on a windy day if you've got your umbrella set up don't walk away and leave it unattended it's just not a good idea because the wind is just waiting for you to do that the wind is very sneaky and it wants to take your easel and your umbrella and it wants to pick it up and throw it down in the sand or over in the water because that's what it does it's done that to me many times so this is probably one of lewis's laws of painting law number 53 gazillion because there's a lot of laws anyway this is law number lewis's law of painting perhaps number 43 not really sure never leave your easel unattended with the umbrella up don't ever do that you'll be sorry if you do but anyway i had a lot of fun painting murray before his easel blew over Remember, life is short. Get out there and paint. Paint. If you're a planar artist, you need to get out there and paint because planar artists are the bold and the brave. And they go out into the world and they find something beautiful and they capture it just like a hero and they bring it back to the rest of us. That's what we do. We are planar painters. Right? Catch you later. <laughs>